damage. Let's keep this get floodplain into forest. Um, I also might not play path to exile. You know, you have a lot of creatures that block pretty well. I might play. I might play more walls and no paths. Um, and you know, just sky cleave apparition is such a good removal spell. I don't think you need necessarily main deck paths. Maybe sideboard paths. I like the champions of the sideboard. I like the rest in peace. I like Lavinia. I think, I think the sideboard looks really good. And those are my thoughts. Dredge. Hmm. So I will say that Dredge is a better matchup for this deck than a deck like Demir Control, um, since you have you have Stoneforge Mystic and Stoneforge Mystic for Batter Skull is is oftentimes not all the time but oftentimes good enough to win. And it hits Stinkweed Imp Cathartic Reunion. How do I pronounce the card you mentioned? Uh, Militia Bugler. Uh, it's the three mana two three card can we see the deck i mean the links up there um let's move on i think but the links up there if you want to see it so we can remand or mana leak ox of Ogmas here but i i do think to win uh, game one you have to draw stone forge mystic so wait hold on how am i at 19 if my opponent creeping chilled did they fail to Creeping Chill? What happened? They chose not to use Creeping Chill's ability. I guess that was a misclick. Why do people run Cathartic Reunion when there's an instant speed version of the card? Is there an instant speed Cathartic Reunion that nobody told me about? I believe that there's one that makes you discard one, draw two, which is much, much worse than discard two, draw three. Kept Chill for Ox. Ah, I see. I see. I see. Interesting. Very cool. All right, winner, winner, chicken dinner. You even have Force of Negation up. Game one, this is really, really good. Yeah, Dredge is definitely a deck to be mindful of. Like, Dredge is decent against the red decks, but obviously it matters, like, how much they're prepared for Dredge. Honestly, like, there's... I love seeing... You know, intentional not uh, activating, not using Creeping Chill, because I hate Creeping Chill so much. <laughs> My least favorite magic card. It's going to be a Stinkweed Dump. Kind of looks like it. Hmm, that stinks. Land is a great draw. Um, could like just a fairy bounce Stinkweed Dump. I don't hate that play. And what's nice about this is on the, the next turn we're going to need to have mana leak up for their ox. And so we're kind of likely to hit a land if we bounce this turn in the top two and can just activate Stoneforge Mystic and then mana leak their ox. Yeah the, yeah, the problem with bouncing it next turn is if they can just play five lands and cast an ox of Ognas, it's pretty bad for us. We know it's in their hand because we remanded it. Why do you need to bounce it? Um, I guess I could have plus and then bounced it next turn. But it, it blocks my germ token, which I, I do think is relevant. Bouncing it's also like kind of better than killing it if you have the option. So they're gonna cast their ox, which we get to mana leak. They're shocking here. Feels like shocking is bad. You don't have the germ token debt yet. Yeah, yeah, maybe. I don't. I mean, I wanted to draw a card though, so I could. Uh, I wanted to draw a card so that I could uh, do this this turn, or like be more likely to. I should maybe say. I think we're going to sort of feast and fam fire ice here. It's usually better against dredge than feast and famine. I know that they have the black blocker, but we can bounce it with petty theft. We can also attack with the stoneforge mystic this turn. 
How dangerous is it to bounce ox in response to the ETB? Uh, depends on the situation. I think there are some spots where that's fine. So I really hate the Antonice in this matchup. Probably want to not play Borrower too. I do think Gargaroth's good. I do think the champions are fine. This is uh, probably with the fourth Force of Negation, though. Maybe over, like, the fourth Mana Leak. Maybe over the Sword of Feast and Famine. Maybe not. I think it's fine to do this. Toski's also probably not great. But Borrower is bad. Feast and Famine's bad. Path is good here. I don't think so. I don't think Path is good. Like, if you just have a Batter Skull in play, you're blanking basically all of their creatures. And... Dredge thrives when you're using one for one removal against them. I know that Path to Exile says Exile on it, but uh, just having a Elder Gargaroth or a Batter Skull like blanks their creatures for the most part, and like that one card does what like three or four Path to Exiles would do. So I, I usually like to side out all of my spot removal against Dredge. And you know, to Teferi is like kind of like the best spot removal because it it's it draws you a card when it deals with their creature. Bouncing their creature is often as good as killing it or exiling it, and it's a blue card for force. And it uh I guess it's just those two things. Yeah, Aether Aethergust is good against Dredge because it counters all of their spells. Aethergust is very good against Dredge, yeah. Not that we're playing it in this deck right now. I think if you don't have Snapcaster Mage, you want to be on uh, other cards for the Dredge matchup. Let me keep this, I guess. Putting back Castle Ardenvale. I'm not going to force a Shriekhorn. I guess I'm getting Temple Garden here. Champion's not great, but it's okay. It's possible I should have gone to five. I think this is an okay enough hand to keep, though. The Shriekhorns have been really bad so far. It's Lightning Axe. Don't think I'm going to force Lightning Axe. Forgotten Cave. Yeah, their draw's been pretty bad. Lightning Axe discarding Ox of Ognas. Yeah, we need this Reman to deal with the Ox, so can't force. Battle Skull's an interesting draw. Just hard casting it is fine. The middle of our prized amalgam. They only have two cards in their hand, drawing up to three. No dredger is hit. Their Shriek Horn's out. If we get to Reman this Ox, I'm feeling pretty good. Probably have to get Hallowed Fountain. They probably exile everything besides Forgotten Cave, Prized Amalgam. Oh, Cathartic Reunion, huh? Yeah, we have to force this because we just don't have an answer for the Ox if we don't. Can I play Jamoka's Command in this deck? Maybe, yeah. I think Jamoka's Command's fine. I've I've put Jamoka's Command in Bant decks kind of recently. They did have Lightning Axe. Or I should say another Lightning Axe. In the Light Shark Blade, do I think running Purge and or Timely in the sideboard is correct now? If so, what would I cut? Um, I don't think I've got... It's, do I have a super up-to-date Shark, uh, Shark Blade deck? I, I do think I'd play probably Ariok Champion, though, over either of those cards for the Swift Spear matchups. And I'd probably play like three of those in the sideboard. Champion's just the best sideboard card, I think. Because it, it just covers, like, all your bases pretty well. All right. Drawing the drawing the force. Uh, I'm going to leave this as a blue card for Kotal. Played about a week ago. Yeah, I can't remember exactly what my 75 looks like, but I'd be playing Ariok Champions. So their one card in hand is is uh, Ox of Ognas. They have drawn a new card that's not a land. They would have played out a land here, I think. I think we just play out second champion here. 
Yeah, I think a timely main deck in blue-white control is fine. It's kind of always been fine, to be honest. Attack War Salvage tapped. Well, don't have an answer to if them drawing an untapped land. Okay, maybe we just win anyways. I'm not I'm not gonna main phase the Ice Fang. That would be good if we draw exactly Stoneforge Mystic, but I guess High Arc too. But there's a chance we want to force still. Yeah, champions are so expensive right now. Hard cast creeping chill. Well, as much as I would love to force that, I don't think we need to with these champions going. Well, it's another card that doesn't deal with the ox. But maybe just batter skull is going to be good enough. They, they also don't have the fifth land next turn necessarily. Yeah, equipping champion seems great. I mean, they 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 have has they probably have like an ancient grudge to bring in. Broccoli had six bucks to row. Welcome back. Hope you're having a good day today. Appreciate that. Yeah, but Dredge's top decks in these kind of spots usually aren't very good. One and zero. Oh. I think this hand is a keep. I'm not 100 percent sure. Kind of hard to mulligan Toski. High arc. Well, Gutshot was bad. I would have mulligan this if I knew the matchup, but you just rattle off a couple lands, you're doing okay. They make sure if they play Soul Scar Mage to kill it, but if they had Soul Scar Mage, they probably would have played it last turn. They bottom their card off of Opt. Antonai is so much better than Path in these matchups, too. I mean, their, their deck uses their mana so well, that extra land in the er, in the first couple turns matters so much. Instant speed is relevant, for sure, but... Boy, can this deck just really make a lot of use out of an extra land. Alright, so hopefully no Soul Scar Mage. Because Soul Scar Mage can deal with Toski. Dragon Bolt, do they have a third land? They do. It's bad. Toski to the rescue, though. Dead to one more spell. Not it's not a uh, non-creature spell. Should have specified, I guess. Yeah, yeah, they, 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 they can't. Yeah, okay, awesome. Why would they get my hopes up like this? We lost a Demir control with the dragon's deck. Felt pretty good. Yeah, a lot of sideboard cards for this matchup. I want to go down to like two Toskies. Cut the remand. I usually play one or two fours. Should go down on Quellers too. Yeah, Toski is pretty bad against Soul Scar Mage. Maybe I want three forces. They're pretty good to protect Stoneforge Mystic. Let's do this. 
This looks pretty good to me. Did we not draw the Perun? Yeah, I, I cut the I cut the Niv Mizzets from the sideboard. Uh, I mean, they probably would have just stolen that matchup. Uh, but I did cut them for this for today. I'm gonna keep this. What matches is Toski for? Toski's in the main deck because it's good in most spots. Toski is great. Toski is a really resilient card card advantage engine. There are some things that kill it, but it dodges a ton of stuff. 14 cards for your force is a bit low. I guess so. It's definitely on the low end. I think it's fine, though. Is it really 14? We've got... Uh, we, yeah, we've got 19, 20. Uh, you might be one of those people that just doesn't count Force of Negation for some reason. But, like, pitching Force to Force happens all the time. So now if we draw a green source, we can Ice Fang plus Equip. Poseidon? Oh, maybe, yeah. Possibly. There are some people who just don't count Force as a blue card, though. But I think you're, you're right. They're probably talking about post-board. All right, land would be really, really good here. Oh, never mind. Never mind. At least now the gut shot's not that good. They spend mana on gut shot. Interesting. Just gonna path the soul skirmish now. <laughs> right on time. I think we're still doing okay. As soon as we draw an untapped green, I think we're in good shape. They have spell pierce, they have spell pierce. If they have spell pierce, they actually tap out here and we can maybe draw a green and get them. Hmm. Truly they're not flashing back dart right now. They shocked here, so they've got something. I don't know what they... I guess just probably like lightning bolts? Well, that's a you know, recursive source of creatures. They did flash back the dart. Um, they've got two cards in their hands. One of them is lava dart. The other one's probably light up the stage. Into Manamorphose Spire Bluff Canal. Metamorphos finds them. Hopefully not a threat. Not a threat. Awesome. All right. Can we f please find a green? I guess not. But now they have to have found a... I mean, this is also a good draw. I should probably not complain. Equip. What a gut gut shot you last turn. Because it, it was revealed to light up the stage. So it was a use it or lose it type of scenario. All right, submit. Game three. Might be good to draw green mana. We'll see if we need it. Green mana? Wow. Snap keep. But it's mold to six. All right, probably gonna get a glacial plain, whatever the snow dual land is, um, and then basic forest. Explosives plus onto nice can be a bit awkward though. Would damping sphere be decent against prowess? In my experience, it's not that good. Although there are, there are certainly spots where it's fine. All right, it's a good draw. I'm just gonna now get Temple Guard in and play Champion. 
Then maybe our opponent will play some more one drops, so we'll just on the nice. So would I say Bane Slayer is also a consideration the Gargroth? Uh, I mean, by turn five, usually you do have double green, and Gargroth is much better than Bane Slayer. Might have very bounced Stormwing Entity. I know they can. They, I mean, they just have to get use another spell to replay it. Can also go Hierarch plus Anthonize. I think I like to fairy bounce here. Do they play Bone Crusher? Um, not usually. No. Two for one, baby. Take it. Oh no, a Scry Two is worth a card. I mean, Scry 2 is certainly relevant, but this is one of my new favorite memes. One card on the bottom, one card on top. Let's go to main phase Ice Fang. If we draw green, we can Hierarch. Do something better than a green mana. <laughs> a Toski. Why call it a meme when it's reality? I mean, that's part of it, although maybe that's what you're saying too, right? Now, a lot of people really do believe it, and I just don't. All right, they need to have an answer for this Ice Fang. Lava Dart's a pretty good answer. So, <laughs> Soul Scarmage also answers the Toski, of course. Why just play Sword of Fire and Ice this turn? Could be good. I think this is fine. What are the bad matchups? Uh, Mono Green Tron is pretty tough. It's kind of like the main one I'm scared of, I guess. What else did we lose to in the challenge? Can't remember exactly. Amulet Titan's probably not great. Just big mana in general is usually tough for these kind of decks. Oh boy. So it's a threat heavy draw. Definitely have some. Definitely not out of it, or even really that close to being out of it. Although, they, only, they have one card. They put two cards on the bottom. We get to kill Soul Scar Mage unless they have a zero drop here. Then we get to Ice Fang. Is it better to Ice Fang now? I think it's better to Ice Fang now, since if we draw Force of Negation, they can't respond to the ETB. It does give them like perfect information, I guess, but I think it's fine to Ice Fang now. We're at 14, they've got two cards. We're really unlikely to die, but we die to probably like Bolt plus Dart. They don't have Bolt plus Dart. No attacks. It probably just means we've won, right? I probably do want to play Hierarch here. Sword of Fire Dice I also don't think is usually as good as it's been this game, for whatever that's worth. Guess we're getting the Sprite Dragon off the field. Hmm, probably should have uh, played our land first to play around Dispute. Doesn't really matter, I guess. That says GG's. GG's back. 2 and 0 oh with the Squirrels. Keeping this. Probably getting Basic Forest. We'll see. Our mana requirements are, you know, pretty light because we're not playing Skyclave, Turn of Witness. We do have a couple double green cards. Yorion, Wooded Foothills, Forest, Utopia, Sprawl, Naming Red. So this could be Niv. I think we're playing the Hierarch and just like crying if they have Ren and Six. Kind of a common play pattern with Noble Hierarch, right? 
They shock with breeding pool. They pass. Weird. Is it counter spell? I think I'm playing higher or stone forge here. Ice Finger Spiral. Hmm. I mean, this attack is good against both of those. I mean, Nip doesn't usually play Ice Fang. They could. It could be Ice Fang for sure. Spiral is really bad if they could just play a five drop. Before, and I didn't. I didn't hold a mana leak. Wasn't really expecting Spiral out of Niv. I don't think I'm supposed to play around it. I don't think the card is super duper common. Green red mana. White. Omnath into Niv Mizzet is probably concession worthy. Yeah, I just didn't think that they played Gross Spiral. I guess that's on me. I, may I Maybe I could have deduced it. Let's go to game two. Yeah, quite the turn three. So I want the Veil of Summers, I think. Force of Negations and Ashiox. Cutting the Anthonices. Maybe cutting Jace. Jace is probably okay. It's pretty good with Force. Maybe two Veil of Summers is too many. The first one's probably fine, but doesn't line up well against all of their removal. Yeah, turn three, turn three Tibble, it's kind of funny. Yeah, I think just ramping into Bring to Light is the better turn three Tibble deck than cast Valky into your wins. How's the mana with 22 lands, 4 dorks? Uh, I, I mean, I flood out all the time, so I think it's a fine number. I'm going to keep this risky hand. Yeah, I feel like I flood out constantly, so I think this is the... <laughs> I don't think I can play any less than 22, but... I think this is fine. You will live. High arc, you're going to live. Definitely want to be able to counter a red and six. This is a bad matchup. I mean, Niv usually just has all good matchups against these kind of decks, right? I'm gonna remand this to try to draw a land, I think. We have Mana Leak for it on the way down. Maybe Queller if we draw a land. Ding, 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 ding. You like three Toskies? I, I, I thought about playing four Toskies. That's how much I like it, Diamonds. Uh, although I'm deciding to play a Jace instead since um, an out to Infinite Life I think is pretty good. But Toskies been absurd for me. Mm, pretty sure I'm going to Ice Fang plus hold the Bleak this turn. So like the fourth force of negation to the side. Yeah, I think it's pretty important against um, like specifically mono green Tron, but also like as a card you bring in against a lot of a lot of control decks, a lot of various combo decks. I've liked it. I think it's fine. Sure thing, diamonds. No, wait. This shuts off bring to light, so I will try to resolve one next turn. Like Jace here. Hmm. Jace here is okay, I think. Kind of like this, though. That is a good point that Teferi plus Leak next turn is pretty powerful. But also, like, Teferi shuts off Bring to Light, which is kind of nice. It's pretty bad if they have double removal spell. We could have maybe even just played Teferi uh, to sh shut off, like, them killing my Queller. It's entirely possible. But they haven't had like too much cheap, cheap removal in their hand yet. 
Man, floodplain is so bad here. I think I'm gonna still cast a fairy. They, they don't usually they don't have blue mana up. They do have a decay. So we get to put the Rin down to one loyalty. And I guess we can't really minus our to fairy because it just gets pinged by Rin. Maybe it would be safe to do if we already had an untapped land in our hand. But I'll just plus. Bad if they have Leo Niv in their hand. They can't cast Omnath into land this turn because they have basic swamp, which is pretty relevant here. Why not Teferi to ensure they don't play Ren? I mean, it wasn't like a very mana efficient play to do that, but maybe it was better, yeah. You also had mana leak to potentially protect the Queller as well. Maybe they don't know how Teferi interacts with Bring to Light. Hmm. Interesting. They ping my Ice Fang, bounce my Hierarch. Is this fine? I'm not sure. They do play Lightning Helix. Kind of think it's fine to plus. I'll put Red and Six on the bottom, yeah. <laughs> Hearthstone mode. Sad but true. They have no play. Hell yeah. I'd love to find a Hierarch. Never mind, I'd love to find a Toski. Do I minus this Teferi here? I think I will. Hmm. How much is this Ashiok doing? Probably not that much. Probably like, just rather draw a card here. I don't know, maybe getting Ashiok down is better. It feels close. Paid off, I guess. It's like Teferi is already shutting off Bring to Light, and it's really unlikely that they can kill Teferi and Bring to Light this turn. Yeah, Toski's just so good. It's so like to Toski just has been so great for me. Yeah. Yeah, they just can never beat it. Like I, I wanted to play the fourth Toski over Jace, but I, but again. I think the first Jace is probably better than the fourth Toski, and like maybe the tiebreaker in that decision is that uh, Jace beats infinite life out of the Heliod deck, and so you don't have to concede to infinite life. Seeing uh, Abrupt Decay, I'm going to bring in the Veil of Bummer. Maybe I'll cut Jace on the draw. Yeah, Toski plus Lingering Souls might be something you're into, Diamonds. Perfect mana, perfect keep. Draw a Temple Garden, gamer. Alright, you can keep this. Put back the castle, I guess. I'm not forcing a Sprawl. They also mold a six. Considering Grim Flare also, interesting. Probably is fine. I think we're getting Breeding Pool. Yeah, the Death Touch on Ice Fang just doesn't matter that much in this matchup. I do think Tusky is probably better in Bant than Abzan. When is the Squirrel Lord being printed? Modern Horizons, there's a Squirrel Lord. There's also Deep Forest Hermit already. 
They can't to fairy this turn. They're just like killing this with an abrupt decay or something. I'm not forcing. I mean, obviously not abrupt decay, but you know, remo generic removal spell. I might counter force Kologon's command, yeah. but obviously not forcing decay. A bad example. Probably get basic planes here. Our man is really good. Shinogans, six months in a row. Come for the squirrel, stay for the blade. Wise words. Wise words indeed. I don't know what we're getting here though. I think it's sort of fire and ice with us being like kind of low on resources. Could be also be feast and famine. Like they only have three cards in their hands, so it's possible they just get their hand empty before we feast and famine them. I think with the Ice Fang in my hand, I, w I do want to be getting a sword, not a uh, Batter Skull. No, Omnath is really, really good for us. Looks like they're probably just killing Stone Forge now. Don't Kaya's guile me, please. I have a family. Four mana to boil away my one land. I think that resolves. Boil is like super greedy in their deck though, right? I did cut the second uh, breeding bull from the deck notably. Bring to life for boil, it's kind of interesting. I don't know, like how many islands does their deck play? Decent amount, right? I'm kind of scared to equip into four open mana. So let's just not. Get Ice Fang EOT. Is Boil even worth the sideboard slot? Yeah, the yeah, blue decks are like way less than on uh, islands than they were before Sanctuary. It's still like an okay sideboard card though. But it got way worse. Toski, 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 Toski. You will live. Ice Fang, you're going to live. Too soon, too soon to say goodbye. Yes. Aspiring Spike. Forbid me now to die. I'll obey. I will try. No abrupt decay, I guess. How many channel points is it going to cost me to name my next dog Toski? We are thinking about getting another dog. It's kind of a pretty good name too. But we're thinking maybe like keeping, uh, like naming an Air naming a new dog Ares or you know Artemis, depending on the the, the sex. Everos, thirteen months in a row. Thirteen months. To Appreciate you. Hope you're having a good day today. It's a long time, buddy. You play this deck yet or nah? I think we Toski here. How does this go bad for us? Yeah, it sounds like a life decision for me too. I'd, I'd do it for a million channel points, but I wouldn't go out and buy a dog. I'd just, you know, wait till uh, it's time to buy one. And then name it Toski. Haven't tried a squirrel, but I did ban Subway and it felt great. Hell yeah. I, I've been really, really high on Toski. Card's awesome. I mean, I know my singing's not any good, but like I have to sing to the Ice Fang so it doesn't die. I don't know what you want me to do. Like, if, I, if I don't sing, my Ice Fang is getting killed and I'm losing this game. And I know it. I know my singing's not very good, but I, I think I just have to sing to, in order to not lose this game. I don't know, I, I get it, but I think my hands are tied. How does your blue black control deck beat Toski? Like, uh, like you have to kill all of their creatures and make a 2-2 shark to always block it, which is not very easy. 
I played against TSP Genderek uh, in the challenge this last weekend, and he was playing blue black control, and I just cast Toski in both our games, and there's just nothing he could really do. <laughs> it's the volume, got it. I apologize. Blue black. I think I keep this. I know it's pretty land heavy, but. I don't think it's a mulligan. Just Google it. I will, I just not on stream, you know what I mean? That's that's what I mean by looking to it, of course. Googling it. Your singing has definitely woken up your roommate a few times. Well hopefully we can all have a laugh about it, you know. Maybe not. Does it burn? Okay. You get a glacial floodplain, then play Stoneforge Mystic, and then Ice Fang is death touching on turn three. Ooh. Still gonna play Stoneforge. Being on the play is really, really good with this hand. Not blocking here is bad against Skewer the Critics, but it's better against any other burn spell. So I think it's fine to block, or not block, rather. Your mother is teaching class of kindergartners over Zoom and asked me to turn down my singing. Oh man, I didn't realize I was that loud. All right, no laughs to be had. No more singing. Doesn't even matter if my creatures need to survive. Yikes. Oh, it's fine now. I, Toski, am here. And by fine now, I mean, you know, could definitely still lose this game. can find force of negation should be fine yeah I, I i i kind of am loosely aware that the people who have like the volume way turned up on their headphones are in the minority but i'll try to cater to as many people as i can so we're dead to third boros charm plus burn spell if we fetch but now we don't have to fetch any world where it's better to play to fairy than to just slam batter skull. I don't really think so. They need to have three burn spells in their two cards, which in their, in their three cards, which is not very likely. So, I mean, maybe maybe it's more likely than I'm giving it credit for. But now that they've sacked some big canyon, it's unlikely that they can resolve three burn spells with, uh, you know, three or four mana too. Certainly, like very much in the realm of possibility, but. Just pretty likely that they have a land or a creature in there somewhere. So we win game one. Do you like the fourth force against burn? Like the, I like the cards that say gain life against burn too. I don't like Reman Barber or Jace. I don't like Sword of Feast and Famine. I'm not sure if I want these paths or not. I can see like maybe playing the first path over the third Toski, but path is just not that good against burn. It's okay. I think, I think this is a, a good number of removal spells. Yeah, yeah, I'll, I'll have to trim a Toski or two if it's not good, but um, it's pretty rare I'll cut all of them. Like, just sometimes, like, you need to lower your curve, and there are some decks that have, like, a, a, a lot of answers for it. Um, but I've been really impressed by it. Path over Queller? Hmm, maybe. Maybe that's better on the draw. Kind of like I kind of like the second path over quality number three. I'm also gonna uh, put some water on for tea. Be right back. Probably can't mulligan this hand, right? Certainly pretty medium, but.
With Teferi, you could instant speed unearth a Queller. Sounds incredibly fun to do that. Like, maybe the most fun thing I've ever heard. Naya Burn. Interesting. Used to be the standard to play Naya. I'm pitching the Teferi. Definitely forcing Searing Blaze in this spot. You haven't lived until you've maze of it your own questing beast. Wow. I mean, not even that can get me to play Maverick, but that sounds really fun too. Why are you chopping over Core Firewalker? the The reason is that the the red bat the red black uh, Death Shadow Scourge deck is pretty popular and and very good. I think I'm holding a mana leak here. I'm a bit worried about Smash to Smithereens. Like my opponent, my opponent hasn't cast a, a spell besides Searing Blaze, so I think that they probably have some impactful sideboard cards. And Smash to Smithereens is definitely on my radar here. I'll, I'll mana leak this. Isn't this deck Maverick? <laughs> no. I mean, Maverick is honestly any deck. I used to I used to put Maverick on every single deck list back when I was playing, you know, like paper PTQs. I put Maverick on every single deck list because I've seen people call, you know, just like any combination of cards Maverick. Like some people say Maverick is Knight of the Reliquary. Some people say it's any like green mid-range deck that doesn't play blue. Some Maverick decks are like play blue and they have they've, they're they like mostly just Sultai decks I think I'm still just not playing the sword into smash the smithereens here kind of just want them to tap out first alright well maybe now I'll go play and equip you're in the maverick is not the reliquary yeah and so if that's the case this isn't a maverick deck some Maverick decks need Stoneforge Mystic. Like, Maverick can describe, like, any color combination, probably green. I'm sure there's been a non-green Maverick deck, though. Um, they, had, they had the Revelry. Flood is pretty real this game. We Thank goodness we drew our castle, I guess. It's probably not enough. My chump blocking here? I guess. Maverick has that. I, I, I don't know. It's just. It's just kind of nonsense, the whole Maverick thing, I think. Can I please draw a spell? No. Maverick is Knight of the Reliquary plus Green Sub Zenith. Yeah, I mean, I've definitely played against players who have described their deck as Maverick who haven't had those cards, and I don't know. It's whatever. It doesn't really matter. We still have game three, of course. Don't need to win this game. And we might still win this game. Let's see. I guess I don't want to batter scold now... Like we get we can battle skull and equip next turn, but just like having it not die to another revelry, which seems kind of likely, seems in my interest. I guess I could have attacked with the hierarch again. No, I needed I needed the other white, that's right. Hmm. No attack with Swift Spear. It's our third castle token. You can link the official Legacy Maverick website. Um, how about you link it and summarize it for me? I do think we need to equip here. It's not die to Boros Charm plus, you know, Burn Spell. Maybe we don't. Maybe we don't. We're at seven. If they don't have exactly another. If they don't have another Boros charm, it's kind of it's pretty good to not. Yeah, another skull crack. Yeah. I think we can afford not to.
They just need. I mean, they would need to have Boros Charm plus Burn Spell or three Burn Spells, and three Burn Spells is like not very likely unless they draw another land. Yeah, but not beating Boros Charm, I guess, unless we equipped. We could also like. There, there's also it's it, likely that there's a combination of cards that they have that we can never beat with this draw. Like we lose a Skullcrack or Revelry there. Thoughts on this list? I, I look I look at lists for uh, there's a deck tech redemption option and I'll also look at them for five bucks. Although maybe all the deck techs have been used up at this point. But sadly if I if I just like looked at everybody's list then it just it just takes up too much of the stream's time. I think I'm resubmitting here. I'm going to uh, get that tea I put on. Alright, thank you everybody for your patience. I hope to draw more spells this game, maybe even a sideboard card. I uh, probably can't mulligan this though. And we have the Splinter Twin combo that wins every single game. It's a Fairy plus Spell Queller. So it's kind of hard to mulligan this. Maverick was originally defined as a green based creature toolbox dex with Green Sun Zenith and Survival before its ban. Knight has been stock. It's good to know. Thank you, Goblin Guide. That's not the nice, it's kind of bad against Revelry, huh? I had a blue back control at 3 2, so we're, I have a total of 7 and 3 with the deck. Maybe good to go on to nice plus hold up Mana Leak. Maybe better to. Probably best to do that. Just any other way, we're getting hit by the idol on twice. I think playing a bio school turn earlier would have been better, yeah. I think you're right. I mean that was at least like the line that could have won us the, that game. Maybe I should have mana leaked that. I I'm sure you saw me pause for a moment thinking about it. I think drawing hierarch, I'm just gonna play Hierarch and pass with Queller up. And then maybe, maybe if they get like Boros Charm here or something really important to counter, it might actually be. A, I think it's better to Mana Leak since next turn, if this lives, we can go to Fairy plus Queller. This is much worse if they have a second copy of Searing Blood, but this is much better if they just have any kill spell for the Queller. They did have another Searing effect. So I have two cards, we're at eight. Is it, is it, maybe it's better to just play Teferi. Got a little flustered. I'm gonna wait, I'm gonna wait. Again, because we just have six mana next turn. Opponent's running out of the gas. Well, thank goodness they play all these sunbaked canyons. Oh, whoops. I didn't really mean to let that resolve. I do like to see that happen though. Yeah, I should have I should have probably qualified that Boros Charm. Alright, we do get to untap with High Arc. Although the problem is here if we play to Fairy that we have to fetch with the flooded strand. I don't really want to do that this game. So it's probably gonna be better to play Stoneforge Mystic, get Batter Skull, and just hold up the Queller for now. All right, could you post your list in chat? I like Jessica Control and try it every brew possible. This is the most viable list I've brewed. Yeah, just post it in chat, I'll take a look. I can't copy paste it from the notification bar. Thanks, I guess, Goblin Guide. Man, I really don't know what to do here. I think we have to quell her. It's 
It's bad against exactly Boros Charm. Cool. And so what, I think it's also pretty good to play Teferi here. You just kind of make them cast anything they have. And then if they have Destructive Revelry or Skullcrack or, you know, Smash the Smithereens, they have to cast the Skullcrack now. Or I guess they can, they can cast the Revelry on the Antonice, but if they have, you know, a Smash, they just will not be able to stop us from gaining life. Okay, so... I'm going to bounce my Queller. And we can't crack the Flooded Strand. I'm glad that I didn't. Uh, if we draw an untapped land, we have Queller up. But now we're just hoping. We beat any creature, any land, and smash the Smithereens. We lose to any burn spell, including Searing Blaze without Landfall. My opponent is not immediately casting a burn spell on us. I guess we could also hit Force of Negation off of Ice Fang, so not 100% to be dead, but... They're casting a spell. Eidolon. Resolves. Oh, exciting stuff. Oh my gosh. I mean, there's like a 0% chance my opponent has a burn spell in their hand that's not smashed to smithereens. We even get to Toski. I guess if we Toski, we're not holding up Queller. I mean, we, we are because we can fetch. Probably fine to cast the Toski. Get to fetch twice, actually. Uh, let's wait a turn. I think, with, I think with only one fetch, it's fine to cast Toski, but I mean, the card draw doesn't really matter. Would I do this to your heart? Just uh, surviving at one. Just making good good burn. Why Toski versus burn? I mean, Toski is a main deck card. We have other cards that are worse against burn. Toski is not that bad in this matchup. It's almost impossible for them to kill. It comes down and blocks the creature. Doesn't trigger Eidolon. Very good with Force of Negation. Toski is not, I don't think, bad. But it's also just... Uh, I, I think I trimmed one copy... And I cut uh, like the third Queller, the Borrower, the Reman, the Jace, the Feast and Famine, which are all cards I think to be worse than the first and second Toski. Toski is great. Toski is really, really strong, I think. All right. Searing Blaze on themselves. A heroic, heroic end. Four and O. Oh. I feel. I almost feel like if I do another five O prediction, I'm jinxing it. But we'll keep the prediction going, or the tradition going. This will be the third, the last two times we've done the trophy number five prediction. We've lost. Lost earlier today, playing for five and O. Oh. I'm not trying to ignore your donation. This is it. Okay, thank you. A lot going on. Jeskai Ultimatum, okay. Uh, I'm sorry, Inspired Ultimatum is just not, it's just not there. It's just not a playable modern card. I wish that that wasn't the case. Um, I also really like the Cleansing Wildfire Flagstones package in Jeskai. I would really, I think it's one of the best reasons to be Jeskai. Burn, interesting. Oh, sorry, Zoo, Zoo. It's one of the best reasons to be Jeskai is getting to play Wildfire and Flagstones in your main deck. And I, I think you just gotta include those. Uh, I you know you, if you do that it's kind of hard to play Archmage's Charm which is one of the big thing. I mean Wildfire Flagstones would be another way to ramp into Ultimatum. Um, I'm not a huge fan of Spell Queller without Stoneforge Mystic, but it is playable. Dryad Arbor, you're saying there's a chance. All right. And no second one drop. I mean, Battle Skull is great against them. Um, I kind of like the third Helix before the second path. And Jeskai is one small thing. I'm not a big fan of Opt and Jeskai either. I haven't tested Behold the Multiverse, but I think Behold the Multiverse in these kind of cards 
in my opinion. Um, I, I I'm lower on playing these kind of cards than just playing like Teferi Hero of Dominaria and more Jace the Mind Sculptor. Same thing with Inspired Ultimatum. Uh, that's really cards you need to be playing are more Teferi Hero of Dominaria, Jace the Mind Sculptor, Shark Typhoons. Um, and if you main deck the Wildfires, like you really do get to open up your sideboard a lot. I'm not a big fan of Wear Tear. I think with cards like Wear Tear, you want to be like specifically targeting things, and I'm not really sure exactly what you're trying to hit with Wear Tear right now. Um, oh, dang. I think we're passing with mana up. I also like to fairy bounce wild the cattle. That actually saves us more life. It gives us the out to draw on the nice or force of negation as interaction. They also might attack the Teferi. Oh wow, the nuts. Wow, I took this line. I think I'm taking just hitting the bushwhacker, right? Or maybe I should hit Renegade because it has death touch for my germ token. Kind of close. The two damage does seem like it's probably relevant here. Death touch pretty relevant too. I'm going to get the 2-1. Alright, those are my thoughts on the deck. And I, if you look at my stream decker, you can see... If you click exclamation point deck, go to my stream decker, see my deck lists. Uh, I have a Just Guy Wildfire control list, not the Lotus Field one that I would recommend as a starting point. They're killing Teferi, which is such a good sign for us. You know, they have Wild Knuckle, two other cards. Awesome. So they could have another path. Ooh. Uh, another 1-2 Renegade, though. Dude, Feast and Famine is such a good draw to get protection from the Renegades. We have drawn basically perfectly since their opening hand. Yeah, there's been a bit of a resurgence on Zoo. I've seen some people talking about it on Twitter. I think we just not block. Pre we don't die to a Tarkus command. Oh no, we did die to a Tarkus command. Hmm. Oops. It's kind of funny. Yeah, they play. For yeah, I should have blocked. Yeah, when I said I was gonna try my best, it was not necessarily true. But this this should be very difficult for them to beat unless they have like a bolt for their Hellhound here. But if they're bolting their Hellhound, it's also just doesn't leave them with many top decks to get out of this. Yeah, yeah, I was I was talking about uh I was talking about Liz when I was that was like the first person I saw talking about it. Um, can't remember who else. I saw I saw a couple of people posting about the zoo deck. All right. There's a resurgence until people start playing EE, so I guess we're killing the zoo deck right now. Winning game one is huge, by the way. Hard to overstate like how big how big it is to win game one. Don't want Reman, don't want Jace, don't want Borrower. Probably want two Force of Negations. Can trim on Teferi, can trim on Toski. Maybe just one Teferi. I think Mana League's fine. Yeah, winning game one is huge. Drawing the Anthonice off the Teferi was just also insane. So it's probably a bit too slow on the draw, right? No Stoneforge Mystic, no Anthonice, no Engineered Explosives. No Ariok Champion. What do these channel points do? They give you the ability to reward some of my channel point rewards, and all of them are pretty good. Yeah, I think Burn or Prowess are a bit better than Zoo, but I think Zoo's okay. And it's a fun deck. Now's definitely the time still, I think, to play your favorite decks. 
I mean, Burn's mana base is so painful, I do think they usually... Or, Zoo's mana base is so painful, I do think they usually lose to, lose to Zoo. This would, like, get around, like, Ariok Champion way better than, like, every other red aggressive deck. I mean, Champion's still, like, good against you, I think. Ooh, do I want to play that? Maybe. I guess so, yeah. Me not having a blue card in my hand feels bad, though. I'm gonna get the Feast and Famine again, uh, because of the Death Touching 1-2 Renegade. Is there ever a reason to make Zoo Blade? I don't know, Stormforge Mystic is, like, pretty slow in a Zoo deck. I don't think so. I mean, never say never, of course. We're all believers here. We can just cast Batter Skull next turn. Might be a little slow. They don't have another fetch though, okay. I guess we're mostly just hoping to draw a blue card. And our, our blue card count isn't super high, admittedly. I guess they could have also a bolt for Hierarch. I mean, they have three spells in their hand. No, just another step links. So another fetch land might even be lethal through the Batter Skull. No, not quite. I mean, I'm just... Well... Hmm. We could play Ariok Champion with 4 slash path up. Champion blocks here, path here. I think this might actually be a bit better. Especially because we could still draw a blue card to protect the Batter Skull next turn. We could also draw a land to equip Sword of Feast and Famine onto Champion, hit them, untap, play Skull. Path a little awkward against Step Links, I guess. Though well, they might not attack with Step Links if they don't draw a land. By the way, no Maul. Um, I think in non Yorion decks, I just tend to prefer three equipments, and I think Feast and Famine and Fire Ice are a bit better than Maul. But Maul is fine. I have mixed feelings. So are we chumping here is a big question. I don't really think we can afford to take... Uh, I don't think we can afford to take five, so I'm just going to take two. Tarkus Command. Well, do I want to just counter this? I guess so. I guess so, yeah. Because this kills the Hellhound. Otherwise, if, if we get them landfall, we don't get to kill the Hellhound. It's a fine draw. Yeah, I guess we should. I guess we should actually have Path on our turn last turn. Although that's not necessarily true. They have two spells in their hand. They have two spells in their hand. Yeah, just triggering the landfall is too bad. Close though. Feels close for sure. Dude, a Targus Command put a land into play would be cool. I didn't actually see what modes they picked. So many path exiles. I'm just gonna not die to bolts. Whoa, almost clicked on the wrong... I did click on the wrong equipment. That would have been embarrassing when there's so many channel points on the line. But yeah, thankfully, Toski is here to save us, too. Three damage plus one reach. Yeah, that's the most common. I mean, I figured that that was the case. It's just kind of fun to imagine. They picked a different mode, I think. Yeah, I mean, I just get so nervous with all these channel points on the line. It's really what it is. Is there any chance that they kill my germ token here? Or my batter skull? Not a very high chance. If I equip sort of feast a fire ice and then they bolt in response, they can double block, kill this, I gain. And then I could die like fetch land plus bolts. 
I think I'll Tusky. If they had the removal, they would have attacked. That's true. I mean, I, I think we probably just aren't losing here. But just like... We like the only way we could possibly lose is if they have a way to remove this the germ token here, and so I think the way to play around that is to just cast Toski. They have a target they can block. Probably would have attacked though, right? There's a fetch land. They have two spells. They could have reckless bushwhacker maybe. Be a, definitely a card in their hand. They get a tap land. It's pretty good for us. I mean, I probably just want to equip the Batter Skull onto Toski this next turn. If I block like this, a Targus Command doesn't kill me. If I block like. I mean. Yeah, I think we just block like this. I know that we could try to eat the Nakato. We're just uh, vigilant. Battle Skull on Toski is lights out. Because it has indestructible on attacks and blocks. And... Alright, I guess I'll put that into play. That can draw a card if I hit my opponent with it. This should probably be in their deck, honestly. That's true. It does die to path. They've already played two, though. 5 0, -oh, baby! Believers, believers are rewarded. Curse broken. I'm loving this deck. Kel time pack, hundred ten.